Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. Hi, and I'm Carolina. She's my sister. And I'm his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we talked about Honor Woman and Reflection Man. Today we're gonna to talk about Epic Man, Epic Woman. They're epic. Looking at me, boy. Yeah, looking at me, girl. You're looking at me, keeping that love, but you're looking at me. There's one thing that um, Amouage do, and that is it's an accord called Amouad. And what that means is that they use key ingredients from Oman. Silver frankincense, the myrrh, and rock rose. Basically means that some of these fragrances, they use it to a greater or lesser degree, have an incense style of note to them. Right. I mentioned last week that I, when I get, came into Amouage, I jumped in way too deep. Yeah. And these incense notes were really pronounced and it, it, um, it overwhelmed me. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready for its awesomeness, basically. You weren't ready for the luxury yet. I was, <laughs> and they are luxury because, and, and I'm glad that you put that up because mm. these ingredients from Oman that I just mentioned, they're the best of the best of the best. Mm. They're so, top of the, yeah. Top of the range. And so uh, the, the House of Amouage are using these as their own you know, heritage ingredients in their fragrances. Now, what we're gonna bring forward to you today, two fragrances that use these ingredients. So this one definitely, it's got presence. I wasn't quite sure I would wear it and I'd think, mm, is this too much? You know, sometimes I, I like the understated things, but then I actually noticed that I had people commenting Comment. all the time. Yep. And my husband was definitely very much, every time I, and I would do it sneakily, I'd put it on, and he would always go, what, what are you wearing? What, what's that one? I find that it's quite that peppery cinnamon, but then I really smell the rose come through that first opening notes. For me, I find that it has a wonderful, spicy, cinnamony um, opening, but as you said, there's that rose, that rose coming and through. And it's a very, it's a luxurious rose. Right. Opening notes are caraway, cinnamon, and a pink oleander. In the heart, you're looking at damask and rose, tea, geranium, and jasmine. Then in the base, you are looking at oud, patchouli, and olibum, which actually is frankincense, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, guyac wood, orris root, and musk. Got a nice spicy opening. What's the dry down like? Well, the dry down definitely goes more into a smoother vanilla -y right. wood. I was gonna say, oud can sometimes be a little bit Pugman. It has a real sort of boom. Not this one. No. No. I was going to say, because no. I, I remember smelling this. So in preparation, um, we've been wearing the fragrances and uh, speaking. Um, and I found that this one here went, that that iris root, which is the iris butter, it has a nice powdery. It does. It's a very gentle sort of um, uh, female fragrance. Yes. It's yes. soft. It's soft. Yep. So I think when I say that there's presence, it's more in the opening notes. Right. As it dries down, it settles very nicely and it's very smooth, vanilla mm. There's some wood there, but not overpowering wood. Right. Right. Yeah, because I, I didn't pick up on the wood. I know no. that you, you picked that up on your yeah, nose. Yeah, I pick up on the wood. Yeah. Um, not that like wood, I like wood, but mm. I like a balanced wood. Yeah. yeah. And this is a balanced wood. Yeah. I think it's an all day fragrance, actually. I mean, I don't want to put it in any category. You right. can wear this any day, any time of the day. And you see and longevity. Definitely high. Yeah. I, when you were wearing it the other day. Yeah. yeah and this is an all day it. fragrance. You need to spray it once or twice max and that is it. And you're done. Yeah, you're yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. Now what I love, what Amouage have done here, is they've created a silhouette, meaning that if uh, the man, the woman, can, uh, or the husband, the wife, the couple, whatever, buy each one of these. When you go out together, it's like a silhouette of mm. each other. They're using very similar notes, and so it's a beautiful blend of the mm. two of them. So, and that's you, a great concept, isn't it? it I love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a huge fan of Epic Man. I love wearing Epic Man. When I'm feeling macho, mas hombre, I wanna be like, you know, I wanna have presence, I wanna have presence in the room, I wanna have, uh, you know, if, if it's a, a party or if it's a, a business meeting or anything of that nature, something where this I, is the one. this is the one, mm. this is the one where it makes you feel like a man. Mm, that's nice. Beautiful, isn't it? It's very piney. Yeah. Again, it has a very spicy opening mm. and it does have sort of like a, a, a forest. It does. Evergreen. And, that's what I'm. Yeah. The opening mm. is awesome. The opening is uh, just very opulent. Um, it does have a spicy opening to it, but it is very um, clean and fresh. Yeah, that very smells. alluring. You know, it has a wonderful, wonderful start to this fragrance. Opening notes are pink pepper, olibum, saffron, nutmeg, cardamom, caraway, myrtle. Then in the heart, you're looking at myrrh and geranium. Finally, in the base, wood, incense, leather, castrum, 
patchouli, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. So I find that when it dries down, it, it does have those incense qualities, but it's not a heavily incense fragrance. Yeah. So it still keeps those woods, the cedar wood, and it's really the cedar wood mm. that, I, that I think is more pronounced, especially in the dry down. Definitely in the dry down. Mm. But I find that I can, the musk is there too. Right. But not a powdery musk. Mm, no, it's no, no, no. It's a greeny, yeah. Well, the castronum gives it that more animalic, a stronger kind of sort of, you know, feel to it. And that would, I imagine, the longevity, oh, that would help that to... So longevity and sillage, for me, I'm finding that this is an atomic. This is, right. the sillage on this is, is wonderful. Mm. The trail on this is spectacular. I was wearing it the other day. My photographer came in two hours later. So now way into the dry down. He opened the door. I mean, he just crossed into the office. And he's like, whoa, that is awesome. <laughs> what are you wearing today? All right, so this is Epic Man creates, I don't know, a sense of confidence. It, it really radiates itself. When I'm wearing this, people are aware of me and aware of, of my presence and the, and the sea ash that this thing creates. I find that longevity on this is, fa is fantastic. Also, I'm looking at at least seven plus hours uh, and it's a confident, um, it's a confident uh, spray on me. So I, I spray three times and I find that it really lasts me pre pretty much the whole day. All day, long. and that's, that's wonderful. Two awesome fragrances. They're a little bit deeper when it comes to those incense notes. So if you are new to that style, I would recommend that you jump in and have a look at these. If you are interested in any of the Amouage, know that Libertine Perfumery are supporting my channel. NFC is the code. Now they're throwing in eight samples, a discovery set for either man or woman. In the order note, when you place your order, make sure that you specify whether you want the woman discovery set or the man discovery set. Thanks again, Carolina. Thank you. We've got some more exciting fragrances coming up. Looking forward to exploring deeper within the house of Unwashed. Me too. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.